street or distress. I need, I need a healthy amount of snacks. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, I'm What's so serious. A healthy, a healthy amount, as in like how much is that? A, hel a, a healthy amount of snacks is probably about two to three big bags of chips, and maybe like one bag of like. The trucker size of uh, gummies and like a case of Gatorade for me. A case of Gatorade, though, bro. Because, hear me out, that case of Gatorade will probably last me a month. Okay. Yes, so, yeah. Maybe two? Close to two? No. Almost. Almost. Can I try not to. I try not to, I try not to like kill them just though. Like I be, I be fighting them. Like nah, let me go. Let me go get some water. You know what I'm saying? But like I have to keep a. I have to keep that that's a right healthy, there. That's a healthy that's, dose of that's, snacks. That's, that's a healthy amount. You know what I'm saying? It's a healthy amount. Well, y'all heard it here. Oh, that is what a healthy <laughs> amount of snacks is. It's a healthy amount. I'm sorry. I mean, it amount. is healthy, bro. And you need like snacks. Chips, candy, and a drink. That's the. Bro, I'm, <laughs> I'm on my last batch of cookies. And then there's no more cookies for me. Look. And they go hand to hand with anime and video games. Because you got to yes. have your snacks. You right got to have there. your snacks. <sighs> Why do you play your games? Today? I'll be out, man. Chewing your snacks. You know what I'm saying? I hope you got your popcorn. Uh, episode 27 um, 27 27 bro we making moves um hopefully y'all got y'all snacks now you got your what a healthy amount of snacks is you know what i'm saying um but and she already sipping on this salty water juice. that she's drinking juice. if you if you juice. just if you just listen she has her sony cup and whenever you hear a, a sip in most cases, it's her just there. That, mm, yeah, that's hate. That's hate. It's, hate. it's just her that's being, hate. you know, a little petty. Uh, before we get ahead of ourselves, the purpose <laughs> of the Shag podcast is to have fun discussing our lifelong passion for anime and video games. And our mission is to highlight anime and video games as positive hobbies that provide opportunities for people of color to explore fantasy worlds, build relationships, find new career paths, and take a break from all that. <laughs> Insanity that's going on out there. So with that being said, your boy Scrappy BHZ. Um I'm joined by my amazing co-hosts. Uh, oh, I'm Dante. And this is and this is Goku. Yeah. You know Super Saiyan Goku. Super Saiyan Goku. Let's go. Making a guest I'm appearance. A, I'm I'm gonna see if I can do the whole pie like this. All right. So for our audio listeners, we got Goku, Super Saiyan Goku. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Live and in the fit. All right. Um, we got another crazy show, another amazing pack show. Hopefully, we can try to get through, give everybody that time because this is about to be an interesting conversation, a very heavy conversation. Um, mm -hmm. We're going to talk about some My Hero Academia news. Uh, we're also going to talk about some Crunchyroll and Funimation news. Um, and then we're also going to talk about some. Um, Embracer news. You know, I've been talking about this embracer thing. Oh, these guys. Yeah, I've been talking about it <laughs> off and on. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Uh so I just want to kind of give a quick update of what's what's happening in that world. So uh before we jump into those topics, let's just kind of, you know, do a quick roundup. What is everybody watching and playing? You know what I'm saying? Last time we got it at the end of the episode. Let's 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 kick it off. What you got? I saw me, so me, so me, I saw bit. So what I've been playing, I am like neck deep in Final Fantasy. I am a Final Fantasy slave right now. I <laughs> love the game. That's probably a very poor choice of words, but I'm sticking with it. I'm ten toes down. Final Fantasy Rebirth 
has my whole entire heart. Um, I love it. I see why people like the franchise so much now. Like, why there's so many debates going on about a game that's like umpteenth years old. Yeah. And and now us players that never played it are like we can finally jump in the conversation now. You know what I'm saying? And it's and it's dope. It's, it's dope. a full circle so, moment for sure. Yes, for sure. So um I'm playing it and like I'm loving it. Like I'm in a kind of like in the first beginning stages of it. I just hit the Greenlands and I'm um like unlocking towers. Like it's a lot of land to cover. I'm about to cover all of it. Um, especially just the the small tidbit, get the small gameplay addition that they made to it with it being like um I can just traverse over like obstacles. Yeah. They did that kind small of focused piece, on that a little more, yeah. They that small piece makes it easier to traverse um like the lands. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. Yeah, and, and I and I just unlocked my chocobos, so Oh, so so yeah, yeah, yeah. So 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 yeah. I'm I'm me deep in this game right now. Um, I'm loving it. How I'm many hours it. you got in so far? Probably twenty. That's not, not bad. Probably twenty. Like really. Dang. And most of that was in one setting. So. Oh wow. Yeah. In one set. Yes. We touch some yes. grass, bro. You played anything oh, yeah. else while you playing that? Grand Blue Fantasy with y'all. Okay. Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. That game continues to impress me, especially now. The bulk I'm starting to re- I'm starting to realize that. Well, I realized that most of the game is in the end game. Yep, that is the end game. It's in the end game, and that's that's where you get most of your materials. Your you can um, upgrade weapons, new weapons. Get new weapons you, uh, for, forge new weapons and stuff like that. Forge new sigils and, and stuff like that. The gameplay yep. get the gameplay gets really deep in the end game, and and I love that. I yep. love that. I love that. I love that. So get and your they just, and they just, Yeah, and they just um updated it. Actually, they just updated it with some more some more um some more features and like some more gameplay stuff too. So and it's a new boss in there somewhere that we got to find and, and beat them. So okay, hey, I'm with it. I'm in. As far as what I've been watching. Uh, same as uh, last episode, um, Ancient Magus Bride. I'm really liking that. Uh, it's giving me a uh, free run vibes, but a lot slower. But they're really building out that world. So the world building is really good. Like this, like the the worlds between um, fairies and humans and and monsters and demons and stuff like that. All of that stuff is really dope. Uh, okay. So if you want just a sm- slow burn, magical. With a little bit of romance, uh, anime, Ancient Magus Bride is your pick, and it's three seasons out. But but the third season is about to come out. So interesting. Uh, oh, and solo level, of course. Solo level. That is the uh, it just I need the to season. Catch up on that. Yeah, the, it, the season season one just ended. Season one just ended. So okay. hey, for all y'all who've been waiting to binge it, now is now is the time to go ahead and go do that. Yeah, I'm a binger myself, so I'm 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 probably gonna go and finish that season for sure. Mm-hmm. What about you, Ivy? What you been watching, playing? Uh, what I've been playing is um, Fan- Blue Fantasy with y'all, and um, I've been slacking on Spider Man, first one, I've been slacking. But, Pick up um, the pace, baby, come on, dog. I know, man. Like I'm like fifty percent done. On. I just need to go and push through it. Yeah. So, it's a good push, though. It's a good push. Yeah, yeah. So then, and then I'm playing another game on my Switch. Uh, I don't remember the name. I think it's like Hashimi. Something like that. I don't know. But it's like um, you play as this girl, and it's like, kind of like they got like floating uh, blimps. Or whatever, and um, you got to go to like these different towns and um, get the light for like their sacred trees in each town, mm-hmm. and um, 
you got to clear it. Like the whole gist of it is like the whole world is covered in fog and you got to go through the towns and clear up the fog by awakening these sacred trees. Is it, it sounds like a two, is it like a 2D side scroller? No, it's a, it's a, mm. is it a JRPG? Sounds JRPG ish. It sounds is 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 that a JRPG? A Japanese a Japanese RPG game. Role playing game. A it's Japanese not turn based. Game. It's not it's not turn based, if that's what you're asking. Like there's no powers or nothing like that. You just go through these I'm cities out. and Oh uh, yeah. You no said powers. no powers. What in video mm. games what are we doing? Mm. No powers. Okay. Yeah, no powers. Interesting. Mm. Yeah. You say you well, like we, we, Switch? Yeah, my Switch, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we, we found out the wrong one. Games that got puzzles in it. It's and more then, of a puzzle um, game, okay. Yeah, it's more of a puzzle game, yeah. That's and then uh, what, I'm, what I'm watching is I'm watching The Beast and the Witch. Um, I am watching... How is I'm still that? watching um, Hunter, Hunter, huh? How is Beast How and is the Witch? Beast and the Witch? Does it get good... Okay. Gotcha. gotcha. I can say that. Uh, it's okay. That's not I mean, okay. it got powers. It got powers. It's just weird. The first episode had me like. It's, def- it's definitely like. It uh, is a little weird. Hey. Because. You gotta kiss the way. Because the, the main character is like in a woman's body, but they're not a and woman. See, see, and, and, and I'm like, yo. Okay. <laughs> interesting. Very weird. Yeah. It's, it's so weird. Very it's so weird. Yeah, you watching anything yeah. else? And then um, Hunter Hunter. I'm still watching Hunter Hunter. Hey, where you I'm at? at the part. I'm at the part where they are. Um. After the the spider, after uh, what's that boy name? Karapika. Yes. Karapika. Yeah. After he then did his thing with them, so you see how he demolished them, folks. <laughs> oh my god, bro! <laughs> and that was when my first time watching it, it was so in field because he just was a little blonde frail dude until yeah. until yeah. boy, but I'm three, at, but, three but, boys, but gone, but gone, and the other boy is cure. Deal, yeah, cure is dealing with the game. Okay. I think they're gonna enter that game that they dealing with. Pops. That's why I stopped it. That's why I stopped it. That's why I stopped it. <laughs> you never finished Hunter X Hunter? No. Oh, you tell That's me you're watching. It. You didn't even finish it because I got busy. <laughs> no. Bro, you recommended me watching it. Bro, you gotta watch that, yo. Believe me. Hey, 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 hey. You gotta watch that, bro. Hey, 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 hey. hey. I'm gonna finish it. Believe me. The Chimera Ant Art is one of them, bro. It's one of them, bro. Like, I would watch. There's certain scenes in in that later arc where I'm like, yep, I watched this whole anime for this one moment. And I was like, (laughs) I feel. Very happy about getting here, and uh, you know the moment, but the build up is just amazing. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna spoil it. It's amazing. Like y'all, y'all need to watch. It. I see pictures of it everywhere, but yeah, yeah, I got it on my wall and everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's amazing, bro. Uh, but sorry, sorry. Well, you you right, watching or yeah. playing anything else? Uh, and I'm watching um a sign of affection. Hmm. I'm watching um solo leveling. Heat. I think I got one more episode to watch, and then heat. I'll be done with that season. Huh? Okay. Yeah. Heat. Yes. Heat. Straight heat. Yeah. And then I think anime of the year category. Yes. Which I think. Uh, yeah, it might be. Is in is is in there? Definitely. Mm. In there. It should it's be an early contender. Yeah. I feel it's it. an early contender. If it can be that season, though, but yeah. As for me, it's it's probably will. It probably will. I've been watching Chainsaw Man because I never finished Chainsaw Man, so I I kind of picked that up a little bit. It's still, and I remember why I didn't. Yeah, I'm remembering why I didn't finish it just because 
it's like okay but I, I can also see that they're setting up characters they're doing a lot of build up stuff like that um but even still i'm just like ah like you said it's mid i also mm-hmm. speaking of mid though i also finished jujutsu kaisen season two and that joint yeah Bussin. mid Bussin. that joint mid oh. um Damn. how I had to do a season two. I had to do a season two, so. Oh, really? Yeah. Watch yeah, it, bro. Finish it. Finish yeah, it, though. It's me. It's mid. Especially for that one. Lying. Nah, it's me. It's just me. It's me. But, but its benefit is that there was nothing else better than it in last year. You know what I'm saying? That's why it won so many awards. I think had it come out in certain that's other years me. compared to other animes that's come out, I don't think it won a one those. I'm just saying, I think it won because of everything else not being on its level. But it, even then, it's me. It's some heat out there that's better than it. There's ongoing animes that are much, and and the reason why they didn't win is because they didn't come out in 2023. You know what I'm saying? That's my opinion. Like Hunter x Hunter is a much better anime. Than Jujutsu Kaisen, Naruto, uh, Bleach. I could go down uh, for days. Tons of other animes that are in my mind, <laughs> but that's just me. So I, you know, what I'm saying that's just me. Watch that, finish that. So now I can at least say <laughs> that I watched it, so I can give my, you know, what I'm saying. That ain't all right, let me be quiet. It ain't it, that giant is. It's all right. It's me. <laughs> that giant is okay. I I rather really watch Dragon Ball Super. <laughs> Before I rewatched it, that's how serious I am about that. But continuing, not to Dang. not to <laughs> not to get too controversial. Boy, how how uh, we only like ten minutes in, man? It got yeah, bro. Yeah. Dang. So I also been watching Gotham Slayer too. Um, that is a good little slow burn. You know what I'm saying? I'm liking seeing my boy Goblin Slayer get back into action and do what he do. He's basically Batman. <laughs> For goblins, like he's just right. a big man out here. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Teaching these younglings how to do things, you know. Um the proper way. Right. And then also One Piece. So watched a little bit of One Piece, been catching up. Uh just because I'm one of those hoarders. I like episodes to build up. So I wanted to build up the Kaido fight. Nah, I I let the Kaido fight build up. And I've now seen the gear gear five and you know what i'm saying i've seen the episodes and this that, and the third I and I, watch I thought y'all seen all of it no i've started over multiple times like i've watched i watched all the way up until this kaido and luffy fight you know what i'm saying because oh, okay. i wanted to let it build up to where when i did watch the kaido fight i didn't have to wait till next week you know what i'm saying it's like let me just uh, just hype okay yeah lot, but what yeah i'm not yeah, I still hadn't hit. finished it yet, though. I hadn't finished it yet. Oh, okay, oh, okay, he hasn't. Okay. Now I think it's dope seeing the future of his new power system, but the execution so far, what I've seen is like, eh, it's cool, it's cool. I see why it didn't get like animation of the year or like anime, any of that type of stuff. Like, for, you know. But that's what I've been watching. What I've been playing. Let me say, Grand Blue been playing it with the squad uh that's actually showing right now this is a cool little dragon fight um and then nba 2k 24 they've been playing that they put that in game pass so you know what i'm saying right now i'm a center for the uh golden state uh what do they call this man uh, warriors the warriors there you go yeah I'm a, I'm a golden state warrior center um and what else halo of course i finally actually finished halo the campaign so that's been pretty cool. Um, as much as I get on here and talk about Halo and play video games and all that, I'm just now finishing the Halo campaign, and it's it's a good ride. So yeah, that's what I've been watching. Oh, that's what we've been watching and playing, uh, brother Dante. Mm-hmm. Want to take us away? All aboard, ladies and gentlemen! Come one, come all. Get on the hype train for My Hero Academia Season 7. Let's go. Dropping May 4th. So all my Star Wars guys, May my the Hero 4th Academia Season 7 is dropping the same day. Man. That's my that's my headline, right? So so boom. 
what I what, but what I really want to talk about is season six because how season six is so good. It that season was amazing. It is the stakes. Everything is every the 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 landscape is very different. The landscape is very different. The students, they've experienced their first like major villain event and they're still students. Oh, snap. Yeah, they got the hero licenses, but they're still students. They are still a part of um the academy, right? So what makes this season so interesting is season five was like a it was really slow not much Very happening slow. but it was yeah. just a lot of build up it was it was a lot of build up so many impactful Two, things happened though, you go to season, season five, six though. some big things happened yeah 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 so, some some important details happened yeah but it was mostly dialogue so if you came into that season looking for like action and stuff like that it wasn't there or it was rarely there i would say yeah but then but then season six starts and they and they get right to it. The heroes, uh, oh, by the way, this is like a lot of spoilers. It's a lot of spoilers here. So if you if you haven't watched it, like I haven't. Hey, hey, hey man. Hey, I'm hey, sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. But hopefully, hopefully our conversation will help you get into it. Yeah, because um, it's good. It's very good. Because it's really, it's super dope. It is really good. So the season starts out with the heroes raid on the villains. It was an entire raid that they that they got that they got like all like most of the heroes to do this raid to stop them from resurrecting um uh Tomura, right? Because it was a it was like a um a scientist that was like experimenting experiment on people and actually like turn them into uh into these monsters right mm -hmm. and so they they finally break into the lab after like i'm 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 be all over the place but they, they break into the lab and they get him out right and they 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 have a chance to kill him to to end him like on some real star lord like but that was about to take the gauntlet off Thanos type type deal. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And bro, they, they didn't, didn't succeed. They didn't succeed. He he gets out and he calls his giant, this giant, this giant dude, and they're just running over everything. And they're like like tearing through Japan. They're tearing through it. And the heroes are trying their best to stop it. Like it's a it's a couple parts in there. And Scrap and Scrap can like can, can attest to this. Like they almost stopped him probably about three times. But yeah. nothing. It's a lot of close and, and, moments and, in there. Like, bro. And and the like some of the students there broken up into groups and just it was like super high octane action. The the stakes was super high and the aftermath of that was to me the most interesting part of how the heroes that are that, that are in the city a lot of them start quitting a lot of them start quitting because they were like hey i ain't gonna hold you big dog city I'm messed not. up <laughs> <laughs> I ain't signed up for all this bro i just did it for the endorsement deals dog like i wouldn't I wasn't trying to be on all this, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, I'm good. Mm. I'm good. And then <laughs> one of the, one of the things that I like about this season in particular was that it didn't focus on Deku. Now it did towards the end, and how he was taking all of this, and how he kept pretty much thought that everything was his fault. But mm. how one of the other things was the b and c story plots of everybody else right because endeavor went through it this season like he yeah he did he, he went through it like his whole family like he, he got outed as for like for like treating his family terrible because he was just focused on becoming better than all might and he was trying to produce children that was that was 
pretty much like he was just trying to like produce a produce his children to be better than all might because he was getting up there and he knew that he was like if i can't do it i'm gonna make sure that my son is is able to do it and like he was he was messing off with with other women and like turns out he had another kid and that kid was um yeah dobby i mean you just giving all the tea bro like, i'm just saying i'm just saying bro like it just it, <laughs> it's setting up to yeah. where right like bro when i like something this good it's, it's, especially in anime i go straight to the manga i go straight to it i'm like i gotta see what's going on i gotta see what's going on yeah i did the same for uh for solo leveling have you already read the next se- uh, season season seven no, I didn't. Okay, so I you on edge. Like, I was, yeah, I was, I was like, I was like, listen, I'm a because also I'm a part of like a lot of communities on Twitter, and one of them is a anime community, and they post a lot of my Hero Academia spoilers. So I was like, you know what? I'm going cold turkey. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> what's your I'm thoughts on the, What's your thoughts on the My Hero Academia memories? Uh, that's coming out on April six. That's a movie. It's actually for it's new episodes that's coming. Um, that's basically going to um, tell the moments, some of the epic moments. It's going to show some of the highlights of the anime so far, and it's also going to uh, bridge the gap between the sixth and the seventh season. I don't know if you heard. Give it to me. No, no, that, that, that's that's my first time hearing it. That's yeah. my first time hearing it. Like mm-hmm. I, I'm all in. I'm all in. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited to see about that because that's that's coming. That was announced recently, and it's coming out on the sixth. So just a couple of days. Yeah, I'm, right around I'm the corner. It. I'm with it, I'm and that'll that'll it. hold us over until we get the uh the season, season seven. seven. Yeah, I'm, I'm with it. it. I'm with it. I'm with it, dog. Um, the whole the fight, the the whole beef, not even beef, the whole fight between Deku and and uh, Tomura, and he. Like when he finally like when they finally like got him awakened and like he just touched the ground and everything just went Yeah, that was crazy. Right? Like, <laughs> like everything he touched just rotted and just started breaking down and bro, that fight was so intense. And they was a and they fight. and they barely won it. They barely like like Maybe. They barely won that fight, bro. And um, it, only to end it with Deku and the whole um vigilante arc, where like the city, the the city is in shambles. Everybody is blaming the heroes. Like y'all didn't do enough to stop it. Heroes is dying. Like. The, like I said, the the entire landscape of My Hero Academia is changed, dog. And I just gave like really small details of what's going no. on. Yes, like it's not that. That wasn't even a whole. That wasn't even a whole thing. That wasn't even a whole thing. And Jeez. bro, I like I'm I'm on the hype train for season seven. I cannot wait for it. I cannot wait for it. It's so right around the corner, me up, bro. It's right back around the corner, up, bro. bro. March, April, May. We just got a. Man. It's it's just uh, a couple, couple, couple holy, weeks away. Holy! Speaking like, of anime of the year, you think it could contain? Because they set up a very amazing story to to continue. So I don't know. Depending on their delivery. Yeah, depending on the depending on on the delivery, and we do, it's a couple more anime that's that's on the horizon that may. That may take it, but as of as of right now, I honestly see. I I, I think this is going to be a solo leveling year. I think solo I leveling is going to sweep. Even though, even though Mushoku Tensei is coming back, but with this season, I read up to this season of Mushoku Tensei that's about to drop. It's, be, it's more slow, burn. And, it's, and it's more it's more slice of life kind of stuff. Like yeah. nothing too much is going on. <clears throat> Nothing too much is going on, so that right there, you know, take that how you want to take it. But I, I think this is solo leveling year. My Hero Academia, I'm super hyped for it. I wonder where they're gonna take this story. Um, dog, 
I'm on because he got train. big shoes to fill, bro. So this makes does. sense. This makes sense. <laughs> I understand. I also wonder how many more seasons they got of the, of the anime because they really set this genre up to be the the ultimate superhero versus the or well, the prodigy of the ultimate superhero versus yes. the prodigy of the ultimate villain, and then. From there, then where do we go? So maybe I wonder if we're getting close to the end of this story. Who bro, knows, all though? Might, bro, all might have to like step in and tell your man, it's like, yo, chill, bro. Yeah, I got <laughs> all might over my shoulder. Right? <laughs> like, right all might, like, chill, bro. Like, we got it, dog. It ain't your fault, my man. Bro. That's an amazing anime for sure. If, if As far as the they listeners out there, oh, well, first, back. Ivy, are you, are you in uh, My Hero? Oh man, it's a good. I think it's, it's a on good. My list. Yeah, it's a good light watch too. Like especially the early seasons, it's a good. Just kind of the earlier seasons are very lighthearted. Like oh, he just he wants to be a hero. Everyone wants to be a hero type of deal. So I think it's kind of easy to pick up. Now mm-hmm. towards the middle and up to current, it starts getting heavier. But I think it's only getting better, honestly. So it's it's. I would definitely you recommend heard it. That's okay. Yes, I will watch this way more over the JJK, bro. I'll watch Black Clover over JJK. I'll watch, like, don't even, nah, bro. That ain't even. Gotcha. Right. Yeah, JJK is. It's just. <sighs> Black Clover is also a rehashing of other animes, too, though. So yeah. I ain't finna just trying to act like it's, it's brand new. But I just, JJK, I don't see the. I'm just not. I'm not there. Bro, my thing, bro. My thing with Shonen in general, it's gonna have its tropes, for sure. It's all about how it's done. Yeah, like we know that these things are gonna happen. We cheer for them every time. Damn near cry. And uh, that's that's exactly what it is. I don't like the how that Jujutsu Kaisen is is um done. I don't like like it. It's like it's convoluted for no reason. And it ain't it ain't even that. It's it's that, basic. That's what it is. It's a basic shonen. It's very basic. It's a very basic anime. Then they keep doing this Black Flash. I'm like, oh my god! If somebody else say Black Flash again, bro, I'm gonna, gonna throw this you. away, by G. I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't gonna hold you. That's dope. That's got you, huh? Yeah, they got you yeah. with the Black Flash. Yeah, they got me. They got oh, me. fool. They got me. They got me. They got me. Sorry. I'm sorry, but they got me. That ain't it, me, bro. They got me, bro. No, bro. Me, but bro. anyway, but anyway, yeah. my hero academia, <laughs> season seven. I'm I'm excited to see what this uh memoirs is gonna do because I like those recap kind of things, and I also like when people bridge gaps. So I'm I'm excited to see what that's yeah, gonna expand, be like. Expand, expand the universe a little bit. Expand yeah. The universe bit. yeah, I like that. I like I like that. Like that's that's some that's some good news right there. So like I'm gonna be looking forward to that. I'm definitely be looking out for that. Oh yeah. All right. Uh sister I Season seven, please watch it. And, yeah. and, and, and season, season six. Season six. Season six watch is it. good. It's a really it's good. good when did it come out? Twenty twenty three or twenty two? Twenty two. Twenty two. It's good. It's really good. Some good anime though. Some good anime. It is good. I need to think. I'm I'm just bad at comparing stuff. I need to stop comparing stuff. <laughs> um, what about you, Ivy? Uh, I know you got some news to deliver to the to the to the team. All right, so this is um, uh, it's kind of shocking news, really, because um, there is a lot of anime that went missing in the U.S. <laughs> after Crunchyroll shuts down. Funimation. It's a lot. <laughs> There's a lot of them missing, like a lot of missing. So we're gonna find out how many was missing. So um, it says following animations, Funimation's end of service. Fans now find nearly 200 anime and live action films and series missing upon oh transitioning <laughs> to Crunchyroll. Then, <laughs> yo, what? <laughs> that is over the total is over sixty thousand hours of anime 
which was <laughs> that have not been transferred over since today. As oh today. wow! So for the audience out there, just for context, um, the company that owns Crunchyroll ended up buying Funimation, and these are two of the top uh, anime uh, publishing platforms in the world, basically. So this is kind of top news as it relates to anime. Um, and in April the second, I think Funimation actually closed down. So as a result, the people who were only using Funimation, they had to come over to Crunchyroll. And what she's saying right now is that the stuff that they could watch over in Funimation, 200 whole animes are now not coming over into Crunchyroll. So I just wanted to give the context for the, the yeah. audience. Mm -hmm. This is yeah. our conversation about physical media. But what? what that's yeah. Yeah. So Jesus. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, so okay, well I ain't gonna read all that. <laughs> he, he just he just did that. He really just summed that that whole that paragraph up. Okay, so <clears throat> some of the losses of these series for anime viewers come at a time of major um um significance for their uh franchises. For example, Filmation um has subleased I'm probably from the bush in this thing. Um, Mono Gattery. Mono Gattery? Okay. You got uh, it. From Aniplex of America. Aniplex? Which I, know, I, know, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm familiar, yeah. I'm familiar with that. I'm familiar with that one, yeah. Yeah. Montegiri. Um, huh? Montegiri, yeah. Montegiri, okay. Montegiri, okay. So... Um, they announced Monogary continu continuations off season and monster season had many fans outraged about why Country Row didn't secure similar agreements before sunsetting the platform. Given ooh, this is a long name, ooh, these are some long names, y'all. Uh, do what you do, do what you do. Oh, god, okay, oh, so yum. Meg Mon what's that name you Mon Gary Monetary? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, so that one. And <laughs> and Baker Monetary episodes thirteen through fifteen haven't been moved over yet. Similarity Black Butler seasons one through three are now unavailable in the oh. US despite season four. Heading to the platform as part of Crunchyroll's spring 2024 anime. That's lineup. crazy. That is insane. So you can't even watch seasons one through three of Black Blood Butler, and they' about to do the fourth one. That's crazy. That's crazy. That is crazy. Bro. You can't get it nowhere. You can't get it nowhere. Son, scrub. This is Ivy. This is what we talked about. <laughs> They didn't secure the, the proper licensing for all these. Yeah. No. And so and so that is a that is a an extensive library of anime that they did not get the licensing for. And you know, and you know that when it's come time to shift anything, if you don't have it, the owners are like, no, no, <laughs> right. yep, no. This is crazy. Where's the, where the where the paperwork? Where the paperwork? Yeah, it just and it's just a, a a nice pleasant reminder of, especially with these streaming services, you don't really own anything. Own so the stuff mm -hmm. that you might have access to by paying for stuff, even on a monthly subscription, you could have paid for Funimation for ten years, and on April the second, <laughs> when they made that cutover, you will not be able to access the stuff you've been watching for ten years. Um, and that's just interesting. Even though um, it's just it's just interesting. It's interesting. It that that is that is insane. And we talked we talked the the, uh, the Warner Brothers thing so much that it and, happened. Yeah 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 yeah. In the <laughs> in the end case, it wasn't really that much of a big deal. But we were like we were like, hey, this could happen. Yeah, and now we seeing it, and yeah. that that is man, 
shout out to all the Funimation users. Uh, I hope y'all get that settled. I hope, well, I hope they get that settled for y'all. Cause that it's gonna take a minute. It's gonna. I know it's gonna take a while. Yeah, it's probably gonna take some time. It's gonna. Take it's just some poor time management on their end, though. Not poor preparation <laughs> and planning. Cause it's like y'all knew all this stuff was about to happen on this date, and you didn't take the proper measures to get the stuff. And and at least even if you couldn't get it licensed, at least communicate to your customers like, hey. These are things with, that you might just experience some problems. We're working on it, blah, blah, blah. I would be interested to know what communication they put out to say what was what to expect. You know what I'm saying? Because this is just kind of, this is wild. This is very wild. That, that, that's just poor management. Like, like you said, like you said. And I think this is a case of it's just anime. They they don't look at it as they don't look at it as they don't look at anime how we look at it. Right. This is just this is just another this is just another thing to them to the people that to the people that own it because that's what it's, that that's what it's seeming like. They don't really care about it. They don't really care about it because if they did, all of this like this wouldn't even be a story. And plus, like you said, they knew this was coming. This how speaking, you of they, going. speaking of they, let's just clear up the misconception. Or let's just say who they is, because you know who's, who they is, though, right? That's uh, Ivy. Warner Brother. No, oh, so they so. they is Sony. It's Sony. Why are you over there laughing, Ivy? Come on, sit sit from your cup. Sit from the cup. Come on, sit from the cup, because we talking about Sony here. Yeah. Mm, uh huh. I don't know y'all talk. Y'all talking about Sony. Sony oh. owns Crunchyroll and Funimation. Funimation. They're the ones that's messing this stuff up. Yeah. And, and <laughs> them your boys. No, no, listen, listen. Up somebody up dropped the ball. You know what I'm saying? Somebody messed up. Somebody didn't do their job. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It ain't. This is a big, big going. drop of the ball. That's a big ball drop, man. Yeah. And don't say that like it's just like it's just some one in the mill thing. Two hundred like, yeah. animes that are gonna be mi- that are missing right look, now. Look, so, I mean, poof, go. Somebody was having a bad day. You know what I'm saying? Somebody. You know? Yeah. That's crazy. Scrap, scrap was holding on to that trunk card too. He was, he, I was he just, was you know, we we, 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 we kept saying they, on, we kept saying they like it was some mysterious people. Like, no, <laughs> they is Sony. <laughs> <laughs> we talk about Sony here. Like, let's just make sure that we clear that up. And this is like their own. That's part of their culture. That's the also the the mess up thing about it. Like, this yes. ain't Sony America. This ain't Sony America. This is this is Sony, Sony Japan. Japan. <laughs> Sony Japan handling <laughs> anime with no care. That's, that's of their culture. Like, anime is huge over there. And like, then think about it. These people, like, at one point they didn't own Funimation. Now they own. Funimation and Crunchyroll. So, like, if the the beginning is in the end, any indication of where we're going, this is this is not a good way to start. Like, this ain't good. <laughs> this ain't good. Honestly, I'm really surprised that they allowed Sony to buy Funimation to begin with. But that's a whole nother. When it, I remember when it got announced, and we talked about it. <laughs> I remember us talking about it, but I was just like, what? These are the top two platforms, and these are the types of things that you can expect to happen to consumers when you allow monopolies. This is a monopoly. They've allowed a monopoly in the anime space, and it's not fair. And on top of it not being fair, the handling of it is trash. It's trash. <laughs> People pay for this stuff. Now, now, not really, now, so, now. so in this, so in this transaction, y'all didn't think some would mess up. That's a lot of anime. Dog, dog. Hold on. Let's no, stop. no. To your point, though. To your point. And this is another That's question that anime. I had. How many? So we are talking about two hundred animes that didn't get moved over. How many mm-hmm. is that two hundred out of the total bucket that didn't get pulled? That did get pulled over. So if, if we're talking about a thousand animes that did get pulled over, and two hundred that didn't. Like the where's the where's the full bucket of animes that needed to get pulled over so we can understand the impact. You know what I'm saying? Like two hundred by True. itself is a number, and when they say sixty thousand uh, minutes of 
anime like this sounds huge but what is that out of the total number like if it's 200 out of 2000 that's not a huge crazy thing you know what i'm saying if it's 200 out of 5000 that's an even smaller thing if it's 200 out it's, of 500 that's like it's 192 funimation offerings that have not transferred to crunchyroll out of how many though is what i'm saying out of mm-hmm. out, out of how many that did get pulled over that's what we don't know. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, that's what we don't know. And without that number, we don't know the full, like percentage. You know what I'm saying? The full real impact. Yeah, yeah. and it's all adding to our point of this is just poor management, not even mismanagement. It's poor management of it. <laughs> like. We can argue all day about like whether you're paying for it or not. The thing is, you spent money for a service, and you wasn't served. <laughs> that's just I mean, the, they gonna work on it. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna get completely dark. But there, work, you know, that's but, arguable too, though. You paying for a ability to use a platform. You're not paying for the the anime itself. Yeah, sure. That's the difference Enjoy. between this and discovery. The discovery thing, the, the Warner Brothers right. discovery thing, is this: you paying for like Netflix, for example. If Netflix sure. decides, okay, we're gonna stop making, or we're not gonna, we're gonna stop showing. Well, Disney's getting in trouble for that a lot, right? We they've taken stuff off of their platform, but the thing is, I mean, you're paying for the the service, not the content itself. So, in this situation, yeah, two hundred. Animes didn't come over, but you still got the service. You still got uh, everything else. So we know what about. But 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 what about my favorite shows? This you just gotta. I mean, you are gonna have to wait. For Stuff them comes to and goes on those get, platforms. Get their so. licensing on Netflix. Shows are on there for some time, and then they leave. And then they're on well, there. That's not the case for. That's not leave. the case for these animes, though. Yes, it is. They sometimes be taking stuff off of Crunchyroll, bro. I, yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, I haven't. I haven't. I've heard. seen it. I've okay. seen it. Okay. It's a. It's a streaming platform. I mean, it's. It's essentially a streaming platform. The only difference is it's anime. So, yeah. you, what you're paying for is the platform to be able to to have a library of all these things you can choose from. But the specific thing itself, like that's that's you have no right to watch Naruto on here. If we if you don't get Naruto. We've still given you what we sold you, which is a platform to watch anime. For sure. For now, sure. For sure. But that's that's it's it's still messed up as a we're consumer. Gonna go in a we're gonna go in the circles, but yeah. It's messed yeah, up okay. as a consumer for sure. I'm just saying, like yeah. they're not teetering the line of like getting sued versus like the Warner Brothers Discovery thing where people literally pay for, like I paid for a digital copy of this video and you're telling me now I can't have this digital copy that I paid for this copy of it not for a, a streaming service I paid gotcha. for this copy of it you know what I'm saying gotcha. like it's not Apple gotcha. Gotcha. gotcha you know gotcha gotcha it's sad though it's very sad regardless very, very sad very sad basically yeah. if you don't have it in your hands you don't own it and streaming services you don't own anything on the streaming service i'm just and somebody just nothing. asked bob somebody just asked bob Iger, what's the chances of them bundling with netflix and he said zero <laughs> nah like the quote was we're thinking about it really now they might put some of their stuff on there yeah i can see that so bundling in the now that'll be interesting so, now, that's so something I need because, to look into. because because all that is just right back to cable <laughs> that's just right back to cable <laughs> that's just right back to cable that's a good point which again, gonna partner, on cable. Gonna partner with Xfinity, they're gonna partner with xfinity they're gonna partner with xfinity and they're gonna be like hey for umpteenth for extra umpteenth dollars you'll get a, a subscription to the streaming services yeah that's interesting that's an interesting thing we should definitely talk about that off mic for sure that's an interesting yep 
Um, was there any more information about the um, the Crunchyroll animation thing, Ivy? Nope. That they the only thing is that they going it's gonna take about a, a few weeks or months to get. I guess the rest of it. If you get it, if you get it. Yeah. yeah, that's <laughs> true. You get it. So that's like, all right, all right. Okay, all right, all right. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> okay, uh, <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. That's insane. That's the world we living <laughs> in. No, that's yeah. crazy. Because when we signing know. all them uh, terms and conditions, so, they're so putting cool. in, they're putting in so, terms and conditions. Mm-hmm. You, support. we have the support. right to to put stuff in here and take stuff out as we see That's fit, okay. as we as we decide. You oh That's no, okay. like all of this. This is the world we living in, yo. And it's crazy. Speaking of the world we living in, um, there's a lot of turmoil in the gaming industry. Um, a lot of uh companies moving around, uh, kind of changing hands. Um, the latest news as far as this embracer thing, which I've been talking about off and on, uh, for the last couple of episodes is, um, a very highly critically acclaimed studio by the name of Gearbox, uh, was actually purchased by take two interactive, um, which is one of the larger, uh, video game publishers in the United States. Um, so take two interactive is the parent company, uh, that owns rockstar games. Um, rockstar games, of course, everybody knows made, uh, GTA, GTA they Red made Dead. Uh, Red Dead Redemption, bully, all of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? So the same parent company that owns GTA now owns gearbox, uh, gearbox, um, actually created, um, and is responsible for uh, Borderlands, the series, uh, Tiny Tina's Wonderland, which they just recently came out with. Um, and they're also the owners and controllers of uh, Duke Nukem and um, uh, Men, of, Men of Honor, I think. I think that's the joint. Yeah, Men of Honor. Um, Men, of, Men of Honor. Was it Men of Honor? Is it is it Mel of Honor? Brother in Arms. It's Brother in Arms. Brother in Arms. Brother in Arms. It's yes. Brother in Arms. So very well known uh studio. Um and so back just to give a little bit more context, back in twenty twenty one uh embracer went on this crazy buying spree where they were buying up all these studios um and they bought um em the embracer group bought gearbox for one point three billion dollars in twenty twenty one. One point three billion dollars, okay. Um and then Man. fast forward to twenty twenty four they, so again, remember one point three billion dollars they spent on it. They're now selling it for four hundred and sixty million dollars. Uh, so yes, they're selling it for like a five, six hundred, seven hundred million dollar loss. That's like a six hundred million dollar loss. And that's not good. That's I mean that's that's just like <laughs> that's, not, <laughs> thank to you, that's not good. Like that's a lot of money, but that's not good. <laughs> I bought something for. Uh, 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 let's say a thousand dollars, and now I just sold it for four hundred dollars. I just lost six hundred dollars. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's literally what they just did. Um, and what the freak? Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. And see, this is the type of stuff that I knew was going to happen, and that's why when I was announcing or talking about Embracer and all their crazy moves a couple of years ago or a couple of episodes ago, I was like. We are gonna watch Embracer because there is no way that they can keep this Stand going. Away. They can't do it. They, they just can't. can't. So this is one of them big moves. Um, now, now that I've kind of given the context, are y'all uh, fans of Borderlands? Are y'all are y'all familiar with Borderlands? Yes, very familiar with Borderlands. Yes, Ivy. Um. My late uncle liked it, Borderlands, and he tried to um, get me into it, but I was like, nah, not my cup of tea. Are you coming with it? Why not? What, what about it? It's kind of, it, um, what do you call it? Uh, Fortnite. It's kind of like Borderlands. Really? You think so? I think so. I mean, you go around getting loot, right? Just collecting loot. and It's interesting. It's some people. Not really. It's but it's, it's a shooter. It's, it's a shooter, yeah, for sure. Yeah, and to them. me, they seem the same to me. I feel is it like the art style. 
Probably. No, it's just like the concept of them are kind of the same. Wow. I don't of hmm. like Borderlands got like a storyline. Like Yeah, it does. Yeah. Oh, well, I ain't know that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got a really wacky storyline, actually. It's pretty it's a pretty that's what kind of drew me into it is uh the storyline. I hadn't finished I think I played the first one. I didn't I finish it. One. And I played I beat the third one. Um that's one of them games where if you got a squad, it is if you got a four player squad, it is a good time. Very fun. Very it is a good time. Um but, I was going to sleep mid play. So oh wow! I, just, I couldn't get into it. <laughs> I'm trying to think, what else is it compared to though? Like uh, Destiny. Destiny because of, because of, because because of yeah. the little shooter. It's Destiny, Destiny before Destiny. Destiny. Yeah, Destiny before Destiny for sure. Uh, I wait, wait, what you She said Destiny is better. I said Destiny is better than Borderlands. This we this, probably disagree. Uh, that's I'm surprised you didn't automatically say yes, Dante. That's crazy. Because, and what's your history? You said you play. You play Borderlands. You, Destiny. you say you. Yeah, played I played it. it. Yeah, just the just the first one. I just played the first one. The third one is really good. If you played the first one, the third one will feel like okay. They've added this. This feels modern. The third gotcha. one feels modern compared to the first one. The first one feels a very clunky if you tried to pick it up today. The third one though okay. feels like okay, this is modern game and mechanics, blah blah blah. You know what I'm gotcha, saying? Got you, got you. So gotcha. I just wanted to kind of mention that just because Gearbox being a, a huge uh developer, uh, they're also working on um like we said, so they got a Borderlands movie in the works, they got mm-hmm. a Brother in Arms movie in the works. They got a. Uh, they doing cool stuff with their IP. They got a Duke Nuka movie in the works. Ew! Cancel it now. Yeah, that's probably not gonna work in today's. That's culture. not gonna work. Not it's not, not today. today. It's not gonna work in today. Not today. No, no. it's not. Um, <laughs> Dang, that was instant. <laughs> yeah, Duke <laughs> Nukem is very. <laughs> yeah, Duke Nukem is not gonna work, son. It's not gonna work. And today is cancel culture, and everybody's. Uh, Politically correct, it's not and gonna work. Dog and dog, Dang. and I know, and I know that they're gonna try to take that stance of like, oh, this is not for the, this ain't for the left, and it's mm-hmm. like, uh, they don't have to lean into that garbage, bro. <laughs> yeah, but I, I do think there's something to say about being able to create things that are edgy. Yeah, for sure. And allowing for it to sure. fail. <laughs> yeah. it's gonna, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> allowing it, allowing things to be risky, and then for people to like dump on it because it's not in the current, you know what I'm saying? Wave because then because there's there's a counterculture of people who will take sure. it and enjoy it. In sales. <laughs> They're just different. They're just, <laughs> okay, okay. They're just but, on the opposite but, side of the, of the line. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. The main reason why I say it, a, a Duke Nukem won't work is because of the vulgarness. It's because, like, you try to do something like less of that, then it's not even Duke Nukem anymore. Right. Yeah, you gotta so, go like, all out. Yeah, yeah, you, you would have to go all out. So don't but even. I think there's an audience just for leave it. Though. Video game form. I think it's an audience. It in, I think it's an audience for it, though. Okay, <laughs> I mean Donald Trump has become president before, bro, and he probably gonna like. There's an audience for it, my dude. I'm not trying to say that it's right or wrong. I'm just saying there's people out there that will buy definitely. it. Definitely, <laughs> definitely. Duke Nukem Forever was in was in development for like ten years. Oh god, <laughs> let's not even talk about. Yeah, that was horrible. But I thought it was interesting that they have a movie in the works for it. But they got a, a legit. Movie going for Duke Nukem, bro. Like, it's gonna be interesting. Um, it's gonna be real interesting. I um, want to see it crash and burn. Most likely it will. <laughs> I just want to see it crash and burn. Most likely it will. <laughs> but, um, but this whole, but this whole gearbox thing, it's. Can we say that it's unfortunate for gearbox? To just be shifted, shifted around like this. 
Yeah. Because <laughs> nobody wants that to constantly be shaking up like this, dog. So, like, yeah, they have a lot of good IP. Like, a lot of good IP. Yeah. And I, just like the last topic, I just don't like the mismanagement of it, bro. It's is because these are still creators at the end of the day, dog. Yeah. Like these are still creators at the end of the day. And I just don't like the people have the people that make the stuff that we love have to constantly deal with this. It's the constant back and forth of big business. Big business and creativity. Like which one is more important? That's it. Yeah, that's basically <laughs> what it is. Big and big business and creativity. Now I think I do think um so there's a few more kind of tidbits. There were some layouts kind of connected to this, um, which normally when there's buyouts, there's layoffs and layoffs. things like that. Mm-hmm. Um, so that did happen. Um, and then also mm-hmm. they they take two. They released a statement saying how um, um, basically they're excited to work with Gearbox and Gearbox released a, sa- a statement saying the same. Uh, the CEO who was of Gearbox is remaining the CEO um his leadership team is kind of staying in but again there have been some changes of you know what i'm saying staff members team members and stuff like that um it's just they have always had this partnership take two and gearbox so take two mm-hmm. has traditionally published or 2k games has always published a lot of gearbox games uh, so like all of the borderlands games were published by 2k um but now they just now they're all on the same team, you know what I'm saying? So hopefully this is not the biggest of shakeups because they've already they already have that relationship, is what I'm right. kind of saying. So um right. Right, right, right. We'll see. Hopefully and, and the reason why I'm saying that is that Borderlands four is in the works. And we need Borderlands four to be good. Like we, we need Borderlands four to be really good. Cause Borderlands yeah. three was really good. And Borderlands is like their bread and butter. And Tiny yes. Tina's Wonderland is also great too. That was a DLC, right? No, that's a separate game. Okay, uh, but it's, it's still in the Borderlands universe. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, the Telltale Games version of Borderlands, uh, tell, tells of, tells from Borderlands or tells of Borderlands? One of the, one, one of those. The uh, the Telltale Games uh, people behind uh, Among the Wolf Among Us. Yeah, Wolf Among Us. Yep. Yep, and the uh and the Batman Telltale like series, that. like, I like that one too. they did they did one of their point and click um narrative adventure games with with uh with Gearbox Borderlands huh? with Borderlands and and that was pretty good. That was pretty good, and the, and the comedy was there too. Like the the voice acting and the and the comedic time in in the video game was refreshing to see. So if you haven't if y'all haven't played those, like go play those. I have. I bought you, them. Yeah. So if you if you like those uh, Telltale games, like those are that, <laughs> that that one is really good. And I hope we get another Wolf Among Us too. I don't know. Oh, Telltale. So yeah, they they, they, they they still going through that stuff. I I watched the uh, documentary that they did that when they first closed down, but then they got. Mm-hmm. They went back up, and now it's looking. Now it's not it's looking, looking too bleak again. Yeah. So again, uh-huh. man, just kind of put a pin in this. I wanted to highlight this, not to always end on a drab or sour mm-hmm. note, but I do want to kind of keep us mindful of even as great as all of these things that we're getting in in anime, video games, and um, and just this nerdy nectar that we're getting. There's mm-hmm. people. That are creating these things that are being impacted, um, whether positively or negatively. You know what I'm saying? And um, the names behind a lot of the faces are important. So, like Gearbox being behind Borderlands and Take Two being behind uh, GTA. GTA and all of that type of stuff. Like, I think yep. it's it's a great platform to kind of highlight this stuff. So, um, I mean, with that being said, you know what I'm saying? Which I want to leave the folks with. Ivy, you got anything? You got anything? Yes, you got a fun I, fact? I have, wait, yeah, wait, I have a fun wait. fact. Go with it, sister. Uh, okay, so Kami no Nawa, Nawa was the third highest grossing anime film of all time. Y'all know that one? Really? Which the one anime is it? movie? 
the one that's called um your name. Oh, it's the English. That movie's good. That movie's so good. Y'all think it? Superpowers? Uh, no superpowers. No, I ain't saying that. <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna make it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the film made over three hundred five. Uh, three hundred and fifty-five million. Oh, that's not bad. Box office that's not bad. records. Mm, that's not bad. Yeah, that's, that's not bad. That's, that's, not bad. that's who that's made it? Is it? Is it? Is it one of those? Uh, um, who studio that made it? Yeah. Uh, studio Ghibli joint? Probably not. Nah. No. Mm-mm. It doesn't say. Okay. Yeah. But it doesn't say. That's dope. That's the because that's the that's like the the kind of romance joint. Yeah, yeah. And for that, and for that to do game busting numbers like that, like that's not even like real life and like real life um romance comedies or just romance movies in general is not doing that. So that's dope. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's dope. That's dope. That's pretty dope. So, so what about you, brother? Good. good. Yes, go ahead. Your turn. <laughs> By the time you're hearing this, tomorrow, tomorrow, CWP, we're going live on Twitch. Twitch. We're going live on Twitch with the one and the only. I mean, what, what, what was that? What was that? What was that? <laughs> you said Twitch, though. So. <laughs> 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 she doing dance moves out here. She did the Michael Jackson. Any, anyway, the one, the only DMT MFPT MP too much Tony. Breathe, bro. Breathe, bro. He he going to live as the WrestleMania uh, pre-show. We're gonna be on Twitch. We're gonna be kicking it. He's gonna be uh playing. He's gonna be playing. He's gonna be fine. He finally owned the sticks. Let's go. He finally owned the sticks. So well, who's uh we'll who's, who's self commentating? Yeah. Gonathan, the former champion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, he gonna make an appearance and be doing his thing? That nigga suck. But yeah, so, <laughs> so he's going to be commentating alongside myself. It's going to be a good time. It's going to be a good time. Make sure y'all follow us across all socials at the Silent Heroes Network on Twitter. X, we are at Silent Heroes Net. Let's go. And yeah, make sure y'all follow us, man. It's going to be a good time. Uh, we're going to be doing that. And then we're going to be uh, watching uh, WrestleMania. It's going to be a good time, good time, good time. So good it's time, a good time. Good time. So yeah, make sure y'all following us to get to get, uh, to get updates on that. Whew. Well, we, like, we got a lot coming down the pipeline. Um, with that being said, until we meet again, check out.